Investigator is a town investigative role with the ability to check one player a night to learn their investigative results. Here they are, feel free to take a screenshot if you don't have them memorized yet. Investigators are average in terms of power. They lack the sheer make or break force of vigilantes and jailers, but similar to jesters, the mere thought of an investigator being in the game changes the way people play, more specifically, evils. And unlike some other TI roles, investigator results are relatively easily verified. You shouldn't have a hard time confirming yourself. If you're new to the game, this is probably the best role for you to use scrolls on to get the hang of town's playstyle. It strikes a good balance between being powerful enough to have a noticeable impact on the game while not being so crucial for town's win condition that you'll single-handedly lose the game if you mess up. Number 1. Silent Influence Like I mentioned in the intro, just the thought of an investigator being in the game can change the way evils play. Specifically, they tend to claim within their investigative results, which is great because the pressure from your role can force them into a terrible playstyle. It is not a good idea to claim within your investigative results as an evil. It makes it really easy for town to zero in on them and forces them to play in a suboptimal way, like if you claim escort as consort or bodyguard as arsonist. Having evils claim within their results is really good for the town as a whole, but makes your individual ability as an investigator a little less powerful. Something a lot of investigators tend to do while playing is to check a player at night and then whisper them immediately as soon as the day starts asking for a claim. And this is a bad idea. Regardless of what their real role is, they'll claim within their investigative results. Think about it from their perspective. What other role would possibly whisper them for a claim as soon as the day starts like that? You're just potentially tipping off an evil that you've checked them, and of course they'll claim within their results after that. If they have it claimed and you must ask them for a role, do it in day chat. Regardless of if or how they respond, post your results 10 or so seconds after, because remember, you're still a TI. You need to post your info every day, even if it might give an evil a chance to come up with a plausible fake claim. Number two, finding evils. There are quite a few counters to Investigator. Framer, Arsonist, Hexmaster, and Disguiser can all change the results of who you check. Because of this, remember that the feedback the game gives you isn't the end-all be-all of what they really are. That being said, there are going to be points in the game where somebody's claim is inconsistent with your results, and when that happens, you'll need to decide for yourself whether they're telling the truth and had the results changed, or just an evil that you've caught. Stick to logic when this happens. Think about what role or roles could have falsely given the result you got. Is there any indication of them being in the game? For example, Hexmasters will always get the Necronomicon second and start killing from Night 3 onwards if there isn't a Coven Leader in the game. So from day 4 on, you should know if they're in the game or not most of the time, based on if there was a kill from the Hexmaster the night before. So if somebody uses being hexed as a reason for their results in this scenario, it's far more believable than if we didn't know there was a Hexmaster in the game. Next, consider how likely it is that the person you checked would have had their results changed. If the person you check on night 1 shows up with arsonist results and claims to have been doused, then they're probably evil. At this point in the game, the arsonist has only doused one player, and even if we're generous and say that they passive doused someone else, the odds are still only 2 in 15, and I wouldn't bet on that. Basically, the longer the game goes on, the more likely it is that somebody is telling the truth about having their investigative results messed with.